Angelina Jolie writes a strong op-ed about health inequities for domestic violence survivors. The activist and performer described how her children, including daughter Zahara, were misdiagnosed because of their skin tones. The actress Angelina Jolie is speaking out against racial disparities in healthcare. The actress and campaigner, 48, described new technology that makes it possible for bruising to be visible on people with darker skin tones in an opinion piece that was published in the American Journal of Nursing on Wednesday. She admitted that she went to see forensic nurse Catherine N. Skify to examine the simple portable device that shines alternate light on the skin as a supporter of domestic abuse. The mother of six also provided an insight into her personal experience and that of her family, claiming that she has witnessed her children of color be misdiagnosed as a result of their skin tone. Near the end of her op-ed, Jolie mentioned that her 18-year-old Ethiopian daughter Zahara had undergone a procedure where she was instructed to monitor for poor healing by looking for pink around her incision sites. The director of Unbroken commented, I had a talk with my daughter, and we both knew that we would have to look for signs of infection based on our own knowledge, not what the nurse had said, despite her undeniably good intentions. According to an earlier statement by Jolie in her article, the new technique is up to five times more effective at detecting bruising than white light, as much as four weeks after injury. She continued by stating that although bruising is one of the most common injuries caused by abuse, doctors and first responders frequently fail to notice it since survivors of color frequently do not have visible injuries. The Maleficent actress stated that for abuse victims, evidence of injury is often crucial for accessing legal protection and physical and mental health treatment, making the role of healthcare professionals critical. Abuse survivors of color are at a significant disadvantage in having their injuries properly identified and documented, are at higher risk for further abuse, and have less of a chance to receive justice or medical care without the use of the best equipment available to detect bruises. Although Jolie admitted that this new bruise detection technology is only a small part of the overall picture, it is an essential step in defending abuse victims. She acknowledged that racial bias in the gathering of forensic evidence is merely one component of much bigger social problems that result in healthcare disparities and racially biased health outcomes. Domestic violence has an intolerable, disproportionate impact on communities of color in America, and all of these issues need to be addressed. Because it can be difficult to spot bruises on persons of color, and because they can take up to 48 hours to manifest on a person's body. Nurses who are familiar with the injuries sustained by abuse victims told Jolie that crucial evidence is sometimes overlooked in investigations. According to Jolie, I was compelled to advocate for a grant program for non-biased forensic technology to be included in the Violence Against Women Act Reauthorization Act of 2022, which is now signed into law based on experience and all that I've learned from experts. The opportunity to assist medical professionals in their crucial work is provided by this grant program. In an effort to save lives and give abuse survivors better legal outcomes, she continued, advanced technology should be widely accessible, including tools that can measure heat at the site of an injury regardless of skin tone. In her final statement, Jolie acknowledged that even her family, who has access to high-quality medical care, is negatively impacted by the healthcare system's inequities, which include the prioritization of white skin in medicine. It is past time to embrace new solutions, she said, from technology to improving diversity and representation in medical research and training.